Captain George Vancouver witnessed unparalleled natural beauty while mapping on the Pacific coast late in the 18th century. He encountered prosperous, sophisticated societies. Okay. Explorers, like La Guerrandry, often followed well-established trade routes cut by generations of Aboriginal travelers. What Mackenzie finds in the far north is spectacular. The sprawling estuary of a great river that today bears his name. All aboard! The chemin de fer transcontinental nous a permis de traverser les montagnes et d'unir le pays. We tied Canada together with two ribbons of steel. Edward Saunders' hardy, fast-maturing wheat and the dedicated work of Western farm families brought prosperity to the prairies and food to the world. Canada has been modest in its history, although its history is only commencing. Sir Wilfrid Laurier was struck, like so many before and after him, by the potential for greatness in our northern nation. Laurier's vision is supported today by the Canadian Rangers, who keep a watchful eye on our Arctic territories. Alexander Graham Bell brought us closer with the invention of the telephone and the flight of the Silver Dart, the first powered aircraft to fly in Canada. Mastery of the air assured mastery of our expansive and expanding territory. And okay. our strength as innovators and our thirst for adventure has thrust the Canadian spirit beyond the bounds of gravity into the boundless possibilities of space. Newfoundland is okay. We'll make you all proud. Over 800 Newfoundlanders gave their best that day, but only 68 answered roll call the next morning. Il est dit que ces jeunes hommes ont foncé tête baissée, comme autant de pêcheurs dans la bourrasque du temps jusqu'au port. Attempts at taking Vimy Ridge cost the British and the French hundreds of thousands of casualties. In the spring of 1917, Canadians are asked to try again. Là où des milliers d'autres ont échoué, on demande aux Canadiens de faire la possible. We're out of the trenches, training to go over the top. We'll be doing the real thing in a couple of days. The four Canadian divisions fought together for the first time. The artillery led the way. Notre artillerie pilote l'ennemi, et toutes nos troupes font front commun pour une première fois. Success always means so many wounded, and it's so cold and wet. 
snow today, forming a deep, soft slush. Le vacarme était insupportable. Les mitraillettes, les mortiers, les canons. Il y avait tant d'obus qu'on ne voyait plus le ciel. Together, they reached their objective. Après quelques heures, l'impossible était accompli. Mais la tyrannie refait trop vite surface. In 1939, Canadians stood ready to fight again. The government received official word that the invasion of Western Europe had begun. The Canadian troops were among the Allied forces who landed this morning on the northern coast of France. Une fois de plus, les Canadiens bravent tous les dangers pour défendre la liberté. La mer est heureuse. On a tout tassé un sur l'autre. On a aperçu le village. Il y avait des maisons qui brûlaient. Puis les plages étaient minées. They were brave men. If there's any such a thing as a hero on T-Day, it was the first assault troops that went ashore. Tout ce qu'on entendait, c'était un bruit infernal. Des avions dessus, des bateaux qui tiraient. Et la riposte des Allemands. Let the hearts of all in Canada today be filled with silent prayer for the success of our hope and allied forces and for the early liberation of the people of Europe. drove the Axis forces back, liberating the people as we went. La fin de la Seconde Guerre mondiale marque le début de nouvelles amitiés entre les peuples. Et chaque printemps depuis, l'éclosion de milliers de tulipes en ravive le souvenir. Every spring, Dutch tourists bloom in our capital as a long-lasting tribute to our efforts and as a symbol of their gratitude. The world had changed forever. An uneasy peace descended, a cold war between the West and the USSR. Canada committed resources and personnel around the world. Pendant la guerre froide entre les pays de l'Ouest et l'Union soviétique, le rôle des Canadiens s'étend de par le monde. The 21st century brought a new set of challenges. Once again, Canada responded. Confronté aux défis du 21e siècle, le Canada to say Afghanistan changed my life would be an understatement. I'm proud that Canadians stood up for values I believe are worth fighting for. It's been the mission the most difficult that I've done, but I'm very proud. We have to now leave Afghanistan to the Afghans, to give them their country. Today, the Canadian people are Honor those who fought, those who fell. Nous nous souvenons de ceux qui ont servi pour nous. Nous les honorons sur une crête en France. On a bridge in France. On land offered by a grateful nation. The Vimy Memorial stands on soil which will forever be part of Canada. Here, in the memorial chamber of the Peace Tower, those who lost their lives are honored in the books of remembrance. Eight. Canada is a proud modern nation, populated by persons from all over the world. Our achievements inspire a vision of the future worthy of the sacrifices of the past. Une nation fière et moderne, animée par un peuple qui prend racine de par le monde. Nos actions s'inspirent du passé pour dessiner l'avenir. landscape has humbled us, raised our hopes, and inspired us to dream. La beauté 
et l'immensité du Canada inspire nous font rêver. It is wonderful to feel the grandness of Canada in the raw world. She is something sublime that you are born into. Some great rugged power you are part of. Our national passions are tied to love of home, the comfort of fellowship, and a deep commitment to advance the common good. Nous dévouons nos passions au bien commun, à la solidarité. I have watched with enormous admiration how Canada has grown and matured while remaining true to its history, its distinctive character and its values. La plus véritable démocratie est une démocratie où les minorités peuvent s'épanouir. Someday, this country will come of age, and all people, whatever their national differences, will unite as one nation. de nouveaux Canadiens. I am a Canadian. A free Canadian. Free to speak without fear. Free to worship God in my own way. Free to stand for what I think right. Free to oppose what I believe wrong. Free to choose those who shall govern my country. 